Jim Crowley, who helps us with any ballot proposals that we have. Um, and I understand there were some questions that were addressed uh, prior to this evening. But I do have just a couple of slides that I'm hoping is helpful. Let's see. Slideshow. Um, so um, for most of you, or many of you, you may recall that we already have a 10-year um, authorization for our non-homestead operating millage, and that does not expire until December of 2025. However, it is subject to Headley rollbacks. And in short, it just means um, that as property values are growing faster than the rate of inflation, our rollbacks are triggered, uh, and basically we can't collect more than an inflationary increase in our operating millages. And so this rollback um, oftentimes ends up with going below the maximum amount allowed, which is 18 mils. This is a non-homestead property, so there's no cost increase to homeowners. And um, in 2015, um, actually since the, the first year that there was a rollback, we've been declining to just over 18 mils for this tax year. Based on my projection, um, I've been monitoring this so we would have the time to go to our voters and ask for a restoration to ensure that we will be levying our full 18 mils that's allowed on non-homestead property and not um, have a loss of revenue. And that estimated loss of revenue next year, and this is based on the latest data that I have, so it's a conservative estimate, would be about a quarter million dollars as indicated in the second or the third bullet there. So um, we are coming to the board for approval of the resolution tonight to put on the ballot in August a restoration proposal. Um, Jim Crowley and I have discussed the various options and this really is the most straightforward. I understand there are other measures that have already been announced in the community uh, within our five municipalities. So this is a restoration of two mills, which means we are taking, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the 18, uh, point zero eight three eight mills for this year, and we're asking for um, an authorization for two additional mills, and that should allow us to get through the original expiration of 2025 when we would have normally come back to the voters if it weren't for these Headley rollbacks. Then I have one more slide. Uh, which shows our general fund revenue by source. And the blue 69% is the total foundation allowance. And then on the right-hand side, um, the communications team made things look much nicer for me, um, is the 69% broken down into different portions. There's a state portion, uh, which is the green. The middle one in orange, 14%, is our local non-homestead. That is the maximum 18 mils. That's based on, on this year, that, this school year that we're in right now, which was actually last tax year. But this just gives us an indication of uh, what that breakdown is. And just so you know, the communications team has been working with me on FAQs and other information and a timeline, which really kicks off immediately uh, once the board takes action. Any questions?